It was joy and jubilation as the High Commissioner UNHCR, Filippo Grand, visited the Romoja settlement in Kamwenge district to assess the refugee response status. Romoja settlement in Kamwenge district is one of the 13 refugee settlement areas. The area has about 99,000 refugees, mainly from DRC and South Sudan. Romoja settlement camp experiences a high influx in refugees. Current statistics show that Uganda is a host to approximately 1.75 million refugees. Specifically here in Rwamwanja settlement camp, there are approximately 99,000 refugees. Recognizing that in a long-term displacement, food aid alone may not be sustainable, especially in light of increasing wars that continue to displace people, the UNHCR High Commissioner Filippo Grandi emphasized the idea of making refugees self-reliant and resilient through economic programs. Traditionally, refugee situations um, were supported by humanitarian funding. This has been the case for a long time. But already many years ago, we realized that humanitarian funding is not enough when refugee situations in particular last for many years. But when the situations last for a long period of time, you see very easily that very quickly you have development needs coming up. People need, children need to go to school. And healthcare needs to be preventive, needs to be more predictable. Uh, people need to be self-reliant to find um, they cannot depend on food aid for a long time because food aid will decline. So you need to make them self-reliant. So what we have done is that we have tried to empower them by, first of all, our policy allows them to work. There are people, when they are in Ramwanja here, there are people with plantations, there are people, who they employ or uh, factories, they can employ them and these refugees. We don't prohibit them from getting a job. In fact, they are free like any other citizen of our country. The kind of education now we are giving them is we are dwelling more to our skills development. Out of $363 million UNHCR pledged to offer Uganda this year for refugee response, only about 42% has been availed so far. To the international community, help Uganda respond to that in the good way that it is already doing. Help them strengthen their education and health system. At Mahani Reception Centre, we meet Masuk Samuel, who had been a student in Senior 3, whose dreams of finishing school and building a future, his father was his everything, the provider, protector and the anchor of his family. Now Masuk, his mother and his seven siblings are left to navigate the overwhelming challenges of refugee life without him. The loss of his father this year in May compounded the misery of this 18-year-old student. It has, it has been so hard for us since we lost our dad. He was, he was everything to us. He was the one supporting our family and doing everything to the family. Then since we lost him, life just changed like that. Things became hard. The stories of Masuk and others are a reminder of the pressing need for increased support for refugee settlements like Romanja, among others. In these settlements and the temporary shelters, lie these young refugees. They cling to the belief that there is still something left to fight for, hope, dignity, and a chance at life. Christmas, Arinitwe, here in Ramwanja, Kamwenge district. Yeah.